Hey everyone, so welcome to a crock pot crocktober mill. I hope you guys do like it. I'm actually going to be doing a simple easy uh, chicken taco soup and I hope you guys enjoy this. By the way, thanks to the YouTube Mommy Meetup group and the hosts are Debt Free with Diana or Debt Free Diana and Dream Flight 6000. Their links to their channel will also be down in the description box down below. There's also gonna be a playlist link for everyone that participated in this collaboration with us uh, down in the description box down below as well. And it is a full month of crock pot meals. It's Crocktober basically for us. So a lot of delicious meals. Let me just say I have already seen a few of them and I've tried a couple of them and they were delicious. Thanks to everyone that had posted those videos. And I hope you guys do like this if you are following me from one of their channels. And also the playlist link links to everyone that did it from the beginning of October for Crocktober month all the way to the end. So definitely keep an eye on that link because there's gonna be some more upcoming crock pot meals that you don't wanna miss out. So I hope you guys like this and let's get started in the kitchen. Hey everyone, so for this recipe here, I'm gonna actually need some chicken. So I already did this chicken. I tried to get as much more fat off of it as possible. So I have the chicken. I also got a jalapeno. So we have a little jalapeno here. I'm going to actually take the seeds out of this since this meal is actually supposed to be very kid friendly as well. I also have a half of a yellow onion here. So I'm going to be using the rest, or half of this actually, not the rest of it, but the half of this. I also have garbanzo beans. I also have black beans. Try to get more light in here, sorry about that. I also got just regular corn. I also have some Mrs. Dash. I'm gonna be using this to season my chicken. I have actually the sea salt. So we have sea salt here. I also have some soy sauce. I have teriyaki sauce. And then I have, I also have some tomato bouillon. So that's what I have here. And then I have very little of the chicken broth, but um, I do have some of this one. Uh, this gato de pollo. It's just seasoning um, and dried up basically your chicken broth dried up. So that is what I have here as well. I'm gonna just use a tablespoon because I do love my chicken with just that extra flavor since I did take a lot of the fat off of this meal. This will give it that chicken broth flavor. It's chicken broth just dehydrated basically. And then, oops, and it has the se some seasoning inside of it there for you as well. Um, same with the tomatoes, and I don't have tomato chunks, and I actually ran out of all the tomatoes, so I'm gonna be using this instead. But this is everything I have. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this. It's already on high, getting a little heat up. I'm gonna pop this chicken inside of there. I'm gonna also add a cup of water. I'm gonna start chopping up and just opening the cans and popping this all in there. It's supposed to be a very easy and simple meal. Simple meal, sorry. Simple meal. So I also forgot you are going to need some cilantro and some green onions. I'm going to wash my cilantro and just chop off about a cup full and um, about a quarter of a cup of the green onions. So I am going to be adding those and that is what actually you are seeing right now. I'm also going to be adding some soy sauce. 
I just eyed it, but you could put about three tablespoons of soy sauce in it, two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce, and a little bit of Mrs. Dash powder, two tablespoons, and then a little bit of salt to your liking. dumped inside and just let it cook and enjoy this again smells so so good but actually it is completely cooked so yeah it is done it is completely cooked I'm just gonna shred it all put it back inside of there and I'm gonna make my tortilla chips and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that but it smells so good. I wish this phone or you guys could smell this in real life, but it smells so, so good. And we get that little jalapeno inside of there. And here I'm actually going to be making my own tortilla chips um, for the soup. You can just go ahead and buy your corn tortillas from your local store. But for me, I actually like it better with making my own. So I just threw this little clip in to show you guys how I make my uh, corn tortillas. Which is basically getting the corn tortillas and then cutting them up into sizes that you would like. Um, I do it like this, something easy, my mom has taught me how to do it, and then you put um, your, you heat up your oil, I'm actually using vegetable oil, and I like this um, trainer spoon, I guess is what it's called, it's easy to actually go ahead and get the chips out of it and drain the oil as doing it, and then go ahead and put a plate with paper towels on, and just dab the extra oil off of it, but this is just something I was taught since being young and I've just always loved it this way. We've gotten the tortillas, our tortillas, we actually get them nice and fresh. They get um, delivered to the stores over here. But yeah, this is what we do and it's so good in this soup. you could go ahead and add your tortilla chips at the bottom and then put your soup on top and by the way this soup smelled so amazing i wish you guys could smell it through the phone it smells so good and it is so good it's delicious definitely something worth trying so everything is done this is the soup and then the chips are on the bottom. If you want, you can also add some chips on top. I will add pepper jack cheese to this and that is what will also make it. So if you do like that, definitely try that as well. But this is by far my favorite kind of soup. I 
hope you guys like this meal. It was so good. It's super easy to make, especially in the crock pot. Go ahead and just dump everything in there and it is delicious. The simplest, fastest meal ever. So definitely check out all the other people that participated in this collaboration. Again, the playlist link will be down in the description box down below for even some more upcoming Croctober meals. And I hope you guys like it. See you guys in the next one.